Hi friends, welcome to a new vlog. Um, I have to run to work like in five minutes. Um, also, can you see yesterday's mascara under my eyes? It's there, don't look too hard. Um, so yesterday I wanted to, well, a few days ago it was um, Independent Bookstore Day. Um, but on the actual day, all the shops here where I live are closed. So I went the following day um, to an independent bookstore kind of near me. And I picked up two books, well, three books. One, uh, which you don't see here, is Transit by Rachel Cusk. I got that for my partner, Ohad, because they finished um, Outline and literally loved it. And it was just so um, amazing to have given that book as a gift and also like seen the power of it because of course not it's not everyone's taste but all had really loved it so it was just amazing um anyway so we thought that we would read transit together um so i got the hebrew version and then i got for myself um lauren groff matrix i've never read any lauren groff i know she's famous for um fates and furies florida and matrix is her most recent novel about nuns and i love recently um nun convent life i'm interested in that kind of um interested in it and i'm also creating a piece for stage right now it's sort of like a short modern opera um where we're sort of referencing a nunnery. <laughs> Seemed fitting, Matrix. Started it and I'll talk to you about it in a second. And then I picked up finally this book that I've been um, eyeing for a long time, which is Night Bitch by Rachel y Yoder. Um, I could not love the title more. If this is backwards on the screen for you, I'm sorry if it is. Um, Graceful, funny, and unnerving as hell is written on the front, blurbed by Jenny Offal, who we know I'm a Fucking Jenny Awful Stan, I love her. Love the cover. I don't love hardback normally, but I think that that is such a great cover. So one day the mother was a mother, but then one night she was quite suddenly something else. I think she turns into a dog or something. So that those are my two picks for inter for um, Independent Bookstore Day. I don't know how much time I have to really talk about this because I really need to run. Um, but I started Matrix and I'm really loving it. I was in the mood for like fun, obviously like fun female fiction. And this is actually historical fiction, which is something I never read before. I never read a historical fiction genre. If you know me, you know that history is a hard thing for me. Like in school, as soon as you would talk history, I'm like, something about, it's not that I don't, I'm not interested in history um, because I don't think that that's true. I just, something in my attention span like once you say a date like 1904 i'm like <sighs> something turns off <laughs> so i want to firstly challenge that and secondly um i'm just happy to be reading my first historical fiction i think it's about time um and yeah it's like seems very very much aligned with what i want to be reading right now we're following a 17 year old um, Marie, this is, I think, 14th century. Again, not good with history. Medieval times, and we're following Marie from France, and she is kind of born into semi-royalty, um, but she's like a child of rape, so she's like a bastard child, and um, she makes it into royal court of Queen Eleanor, um, uh, Eleanor of France becomes Queen of England, but she's like this very large girl. She's like 17, but she's like super, super tall. They find her very like unsightly. And so they, they kind of send her off to this abbey or this convent, they basically become a nun, um, sort of like a head nun to kind of get rid of her. So I'm on page 55. She is 
arriving to this abbey. Very poor there, everyone's kind of starving. It's a bad situation, it's just horrible. <laughs> and she's trying to adapt to the nun life as also like a very non-pious or like non-religious person. Um, so it's interesting, it's funny, it's dark, it's very, very atmospheric. The writing is super atmospheric. I feel like I'm inside um, these chapels with the nuns and their cold feet on the floor and singing prayers. It's very, very visual, which I love. Anyway, really gotta run but I'll keep you updated on this one. For now, I'm liking it. Good morning, bookish friends of the internet. Um, I'm in Paris. Maybe this is a weird spot. I need to figure out how to set this up. Um, hi, you may have seen from the clip so far that I am in Paris. Ohad and I are both in Paris working until almost the end of May, so it's upwards of three weeks almost that we're in Paris, which is really exciting, really fun. We haven't traveled for work in two and a half years. Um, we've obviously traveled on our own as soon as like, you know, COVID allowed and the skies opened and, um, you know, we tried to escape when we could away somewhere, but we haven't traveled on tour for work to perform in different theaters and stuff in the world. We didn't do that for a, for two and a half years. So this is our first one to Paris and Paris is always an exciting tour. I have that thing in the morning when like, it's hard for me to smile. So like talking to you is a bit weird. <laughs> so just, I've been spending the last kind of almost week just adjusting to being here. Um, it felt like I closed my eyes and opened them and I was in Paris and that's crazy. <laughs> so it took me a little bit to adjust to being here, um, but it's really fun. I love Paris actually. It's not everyone's city, but Ohad and I both really, really love it. I would love to live here someday. In terms of reading, I'll get the book for you, but it's really, really not exciting. I really don't know what the last thing I filmed was. Maybe I'll close these windows. At some point I was talking to you about 
Matrix by Lauren Groff, which I'm going to talk to you about now. But I'm not sure if that was back in Tel Aviv or if it was already here in Paris. Maybe I got cut off or something. I've already been here for about a week, a little over a week here in Paris. We're here for three, almost three weeks total. Um, and finally I finished the Lauren Groff. So I think I didn't even properly get to really talk to you about, I wonder if I can set this phone down. Oh, perfect, okay. Matrix. Um, I'm gonna briefly talk to you again about what it's about because I think I either wasn't clear or I was cut off. So this is about 17 year old Marie when this story opens. This is based, this is historical fiction and based on Marie de France, which I Googled her, a poet in the 12th century, I think. <laughs> Supposedly she's born in, in what is known today as France. So Lauren Groff kind of reimagined this character of Marie. In general, I really, really loved, loved it. I loved Lauren Groff's writing. I loved, as I mentioned before, also I have a fascination right now with nuns um, and just women of faith in that sense, in an, and in that extreme. Um, so I really liked the, the situations in these books, the atmosphere. We're just following Marie as she is kind of growing old, all the way from 17 to her death um, in this abbey. And she's also um, climbing the ranks in terms of her status inside the abbey. Um, and all the changes that she brings there, and also all the kind of radical feminist um, aspects she brings to this very strict environment. Yeah, I don't want to tell you too much in case you read this book, um, but there's also a lot of queerness in this. She writes letters back and forth to Queen Eleanor, um, who she lived with before and she has sort of a fascination with her. It's also sort of somewhere between love and rivalry. Definitely some juicy, sexy bits in here. So that was fun. That Lauren Groff, this is my in, um, introduction to her. I think she writes in a really spellbinding way, very, very beautiful writing and very atmospheric. You know, I can, I underlined so many passages here, but I don't know, she can talk about how the nuns are going for their prayer in the um, church and she's like describing the singing, like the prayer singing that's coming from them, like pouring out of their mouths and like going up onto the ceiling of the church and then going back down through their feet and into their blood and like the smell of incense and you get like it's very 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 atmospheric um and also disgusting at some points because you know there's sickness here there's poverty also um yeah so it's also gritty um, but you really see, sense, smell, feel the environment. This is more epic than anything that I think I've ever read before. Um, has like an epicness to it. But yeah, it's very badass women in the convent um, environment, which I think is amazing. The only thing I, I have to say is I think it's a little bit long, just a little, little bit long. Um, it can be repetitive at some points, although the plot does develop and move forward. Um, but I think that I enjoyed it so much when I was in Tel Aviv and then I got like ripped out of Tel Aviv and flew to Paris just to work. Um, and so something just in my headspace like totally shifted. So by the time I picked it back up and tried to get back into it, I felt like I was just in really a really different place than I was when I first um, was reading it. So it was a little bit difficult for me to feel fully, fully engaged back in the story but I don't think that that's necessarily a fault of the book. I think it's more just of the situation of my life right now. 
Yeah, I loved so many aspects of this, and I think that Lauren Groff is a great writer, so I would love to pick up Florida and Fates and Furies and whatever she writes in the future. I know some people have mixed feelings about this. People either didn't like it or really liked it, so, um, yeah, I just thought it was great um, for the most part, like, as a whole. I think it's, it's a good book, and I would recommend it. I'm going to um, go do some laundry. We're staying in like an apartment hotel, so they have like some facilities um, here that are helpful when you're staying somewhere for more than two weeks. Um, and then I think I'm gonna end the vlog here and I'll start a new vlog and talk about what I'm reading while I'm here. I bought some books, I finished a book, I'm on to the second one, so. I'm trying to read also French authors while I'm here. So that's it for now. I have no idea how I'm gonna put this vlog together. I don't even know where the footage is, <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, big kisses, bisous, bye.